There is one item in particular that I just cannot seem to keep listed for very long. Every time I list this item, it sells so quickly lately, and this time it only took 20 minutes for it to sell. So I'm gonna share with you what that item was along with everything else that sold for me on Poshmark over the last week. And then I have a kind of mini thrift haul to share with you of items that I thrifted over the last week to sell online. So I'll start with what sold over the last week. Okay, so the first thing to sell was this Lily Pulitzer floral cocktail dress. I had thrifted this at just a regular Goodwill for $9.19, and then it ended up selling after a year and a half for $25, which left me with $10.81 in profit. So I actually originally had that listed at 50 and was expecting it to sell around 35 to 40 but after a year and a half of it not selling, when someone sent me that $25 offer, I absolutely accepted it and moved right along, but I would not have spent almost $10 on it if I expected it to sell for 25. I probably would have just left it behind. The next item to sell on Poshmark was this Urban Outfitters graphic oversized t-shirt. This was a Goodwill Outlet bins pickup, so I only spent $1.26 on this, and then I flipped it for $17 on Poshmark and that one took just over two months to sell. The next item that sold was this pair of Madewell 11 inch high rise flare jeans. And I thrifted these at Goodwill for $7.99 and they sold on Poshmark for $35, which left me with $20.01 in profit. And I think that's probably the max I would have spent for those $8 for them to sell for 35. That's still a really good profit, but a lot of times the thrift stores in my area price Madewell at $19.99. So you best believe whenever I see that price tag, I just flip right past it just because the return, if you're selling it online, probably isn't gonna be there, but it was worth it for me to pick those up at $7.99. Next up was this Free People It Feels Right Sarong Floral Midi Skirt. This was another Goodwill Bins pickup from just a couple weeks ago, actually. And I thrifted that for $1.98 and then ended up selling it for $35 on Poshmark, which left me with $26.02 and it only took eight days for that to sell. So I'm sure a lot of you know, free people does not always move that quickly and it doesn't always sell for that high of a sale price, I would say. But that being a you know pretty good style, currently in season item and a bigger size, I think a lot of those factors combined help the item, but yeah, as I'm sure a lot of you know, free people is not always a quick flip and a high profit, so definitely depends. Next up is this Theory Wool Blend Blazer Jacket that I thrifted at the Goodwill outlet for $1.66 a little over a year and a half ago, so I have had that one for a while, but it did end up selling at full asking price at $70. So that left me with over $50 in profit. And even though it took a year and a half to sell, if you think about it, that's all work I did a year and a half ago to find the item, photograph the item, list the item, clean it up and everything. And then the only thing I had to do between then and now is store it. So to me, that's worth it for a $54 profit in the end, but by no means was that a fast flip. Next up was this pair of Eileen Fisher casual pull-on pants. This was a Goodwill outlet pickup for $1.43, and then I sold them on Poshmark for $20, so that left me with $14.57. And I really like to sell Eileen Fisher, but it's not a brand I get excited about when I find, but I do know that it's a pretty dependable brand and one that will sell and leave me with a good profit, especially if I get it for such a low cost of good. This one took about four months to sell, so not a majorly fast flip, but definitely not an item that I was sitting on for super long, so $20 sale price, four months, really not bad. I'm definitely a brand I would consider to be a bread and butter. Okay, this next brand is actually one that I discovered this year. I randomly stumbled across it at the Goodwill outlet a couple months back and looked into it a little bit and decided to just go for it and it sold really well the last time. So when I found it again, I did decide to give it another try and it is this Coolabar Andros fishing hoodie, which I thrifted for $1.28 and then sold for $20. And it took just over a month. I think both times I sold this brand, it sold right around $20, 20 to 25, and in right around a month. So that's definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for. From what I can tell, they seem to specialize in fishing apparel. Okay, the next sale was the 20 minute sale, the very fast flip, and it was this pair of Madewell Perfect Vintage Jeans, 
and these I sold for $32 on Poshmark after thrifting them at the bins and this style is just like really having a moment. Every time lately that I have listed it, it has sold within a week or two and then this time it was like literally less than 30 minutes. So that's a good style to be on the lookout for at this exact moment in time, but of course things can change very quickly. So if you're watching this video in six months, who knows if that'll still be the case, but at this exact moment in time, the perfect vintage jean does seem to be doing very well. But yeah, I really just cannot keep this item listed, which is a good problem to have. All right, next up was this pair of Spanx stretch twill shorts. And these I thrifted at Goodwill for $6.99 and then sold them again for full asking price for $50. And that left me with $33 in profit. They took just over a month. So I am taking notes because that was a really great sale. And these definitely sold for more than I was expecting. So I will continue to be on the lookout for Sphinx shorts and probably just their pants in general moving forward. My last sale from the week on Poshmark and then I do have one honorable eBay sale mention. But my last Poshmark sale from the week was this pair of Anthropology Sundry sweatpants. And these I thrifted just a couple weeks ago at the bins for $1.98 and then sold them on Poshmark for $25. And they took 16 days, so a really quick flip. They were new with tags. I probably could have held out and got a little bit more for them, but I kind of countered back and forth with the buyer and landed at $25. And that's you know, of course, still a really great profit. I only spent $2 on them originally. Okay, and then the eBay sale that I wanna call out was this Vizioni cotton popover rugby shirt with a chambray collar. And this one, I completely had never heard of this brand before, but just the style was really, really good. So I did end up grabbing it. I thrifted at the bins for $1.92 and sold it for $20. The cool thing about this shirt was that it was being sent to a Broadway theater. I think it was the Imperial Theater on Broadway. And so I'm thinking this shirt might be worn in a Broadway play, which is very cool. And I might have to be on the lookout somehow for that. Okay, now moving on to what I thrifted over the last week. So this is a kind of small haul. I think there's maybe 12 or 13 items and the Madewell jeans already sold and were shipped out. But the other stuff that I got was pretty good. So I'm excited to share it. Okay, first up is this Barefoot Dreams hooded cardigan. It's the cozy chic light cardigan with these front slip pockets. And this brand Barefoot Dreams is a good one to be on the lookout for. I think their cardigans with the hoods seem to do best as well as the bigger sizes. So large and extra large definitely does better than the small or mediums, but I think if you find a cardigan by this brand in a bigger size and preferably with the hood, it can definitely sell for a pretty good price, usually maybe $30 to $40 or so, but in my experience, the ones that are a smaller size and don't that don't have a hood don't seem to do quite as well. Okay, the next up is this pair of Lily Pulitzer shorts. They're mid-rise, and I knew from a mile away that these were Lily Pulitzer just because they have such a specific, you know, color palette and aesthetic. So I did want to pick these up, especially because they are new with tags. One reason I was considering leaving them was they are an extra, extra small. And I did get these at a regular Goodwill, so I spent, I think, $5.99 for them. But I do think since they are a currently in-season category, and new with tags. I'm hoping that even though they're an extra extra small, they still do sell pretty well, but I could also see those taking a little while to sell, so not quite sure. All right, next up is this Roan popover long sleeve shirt in a men's medium. I was flipping through the men's section at Goodwill, which I don't always do, but on this day I did, and this brand definitely rang a bell when I saw it, so I'm pretty sure I've heard somebody on YouTube at some point talk about this brand, but I did do a comp check while at Goodwill and saw that these shirts sell for like $30 to $40 or so. And this brand in general just seemed to have a really good resale value. So let me know if you've ever found this brand, if you've sold it, and if you know anything about it at all. This next one is a Louis Farad, I think is how you say it. This is the first time I had ever picked this brand up or seen this brand, but I was flipping through the blazers at the thrift store and this one really caught my attention. It's definitely got a vintage vibe to it and it has some light shoulder pads, really pretty gold button details along the front and then these velvet bows along the hem. This was 100% silk made in Germany 
and just kind of had a lot going for it, which made me want to grab it. I do expect this to be a high sale price, but probably a high turnaround time just because I think it's going to take a very particular buyer to be looking for an item like this. But I am expecting it to be a pretty good sale once it does end up selling. Okay, next up is this Reformation tie strap animal print tank top with a back smocked panel. And Reformation is a really great brand to find. Every time I find it, my heart skips a beat, I think, because it's really only been maybe like five to seven times I've ever found it. I did mention in my 20 brands to thrift and sell video, if you ever saw that, that Reformation has never sold for less than $30 for me, and that still holds true to this day. So I am expecting that to be probably around a $30, maybe a little bit more sale price once it sells. Okay, and then this is another brand that I actually found for the first time this year, again at the bins, and I just decided to look into it. But the brand is called Koi, and this is a pair of cargo scrub pants. So I think the last pair I sold, sold for 28. And so I am expecting these to sell right around there, probably in the somewhere in the 20, 25, $30 range. But this brand seems to really specialize in these cargo style scrub pants from what I've seen. And I'm sure they do scrub tops as well, but I've really only found pants and they seem to do really well. I mean, the last pair I sold definitely sold in less than two months. So, a good brand to be on the lookout for, and if you're not spending much for it, I think it's a pretty easy, you know, $20 profit or so. In the okay, then this next item I actually really hemmed and hawed at the thrift store. I did not know if I should pick it up. It's this pair of Spanx high-rise workout leggings, but the reason I didn't know if I should grab them is because they were priced at $12.99, and I just wasn't sure that the return would be there. I couldn't find the exact style name, and Google reverse image just really wasn't helping me out too much. So I felt like I just had to do my best to decide whether or not to grab them. And ultimately I did. So I'm, you know, thinking they'll sell probably right around $40 or so. And especially seeing those Spanx shorts that sold for 50, that did kind of like make me feel like, okay, maybe this will be a good sale, but I don't have any experience selling Spanx workout leggings, only like their jeggings, some other type of pants, those shorts, and then shapewear. So please let me know if you have sold Spanx like workout leggings before and how they did for you. Cause I'm not really sure how that's gonna go. Then this was a bins pickup. This is a We The Free long sleeve plunging neckline cropped pullover sweater. And it's a size large. This is a, you know, pretty decent brand to be on the lookout for. It's a, obviously a free people sub brand and it's, a brand I pretty much reserve for the bins just because I know it won't sell for probably more than 20, 25 or so. But I also hadn't found this brand in a while, so I think that was kind of also why I wanted to grab it. Okay, and then this next one I actually found when I stopped at this random church thrift store. I was driving, saw it, decided to stop in, and I was really glad I did because this is an Amanda Upperchard mini dress, short sleeves, got a high neck and a ruffled hem, size extra small. This is a brand I've never found before. It is sold on Revolve. It's, I'm sure, sold at Nordstrom and other high-end retailers, but this dress is actually still being sold on Revolve at the moment, so I love when that happens, when I find something that's still currently being sold, just because a lot of times people will check the resale market to see if they can get the item for a little cheaper, so I think this is priced at like 160 or so on their website and I think I priced mine around 70 so I'm expecting this to be a decently quick flip it does have a small flaw so I kind of had to account for that but overall it's in really good condition and we'll see how it goes but I'm guessing it'll sell decently quickly and then speaking of good brands that i have never found before this is a max mara wool blend pencil skirt with a side slit and this is a brand i know it retails for a lot i was checking their website a couple days ago and the items that are on sale like knocked down in price on sale were like a minimum of 300 dollars. <laughs> so this is a brand that definitely retails for a lot but I did notice that comps were really all over the place when I was looking into this, so I'm not 
exactly sure what I'm going to price it at, but this is just one of those brands that if I see it, as long as it's in good condition and I'm not paying like a ton for it, I'm going to pick it up. All right, next up is this Beyond Yoga pullover hoodie. Kind of a basic, simple one, but I love selling Beyond Yoga. And this was a Goodwill outlet pickup, so it only cost me a couple dollars. And I'm expecting this to be probably around a $25 to $30 sale. If you have ever felt anything by this brand Beyond Yoga, it is so incredibly soft and just very high quality, very nice, very, very nice. Okay, and then this is a, another item I found at that random church thrift store that I decided to stop in. And this is actually an even better item than the Amanda Upperchart dress, if you can believe it. It's a Dolce & Gabbana long line, 100% silk, button front jacket or coat, and it's made in Italy, it's a size 44. I was so excited to find this because in my almost four years of thrifting and flipping, I've never found this brand before. So that was a really exciting day and it just was kind of funny that I just randomly decided to stop in a thrift store I'd never been to and clearly found some really good stuff there. So I will definitely be going back there at some point. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and thank you so much to everybody who has ever used any of my codes, Prime Lister, an Amazon affiliate, or when you sign up for Poshmark and you use my code, I really appreciate that and I feel like I don't say that enough, but it does not go unnoticed and I really truly appreciate all of your support. Even just watching the video, liking the video, commenting, anything that you do to support me and my channel, I really do appreciate. So I hope you guys have a very good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.